Hello, welcome back to 1001 Beers. You must try before you die. I'm in the same position I was in for the last beer reviews, but I have a new guest. Hello. Quino is not here. I'm here with Tim Lloyd, who has not been uh, in these shores for some time. No, it's uh, been a while. And thankfully, I'm not going to give them any crap beers. Well, they might be crap. They <laughs> might taste crap, but not ones we know to be crap. Because last time you were on this... this uh, yeah, you snuck this in a Budweiser. Budweiser, yeah. Yeah. and I can't wait what else we reviewed now. Don't know, but I remember the Budweiser. Punk yeah. IPA, I think, did as well, which is not terrible. But, um, <laughs> but So we, this time we've got six beers, which we neither of us have ever had before. I even checked Tim's untapped history, so if you hadn't had them. Yes, I, I know. Well, I didn't. I've, I wanted you to be fresh to these these beers, so you didn't have cool. any preconceived uh, no, no, ideas enough. about them. Um, so, the first one is from the Netherlands. Uh, first brewed in eighteen eighty four. It's five percent, and it is in the book. It's Boodles Pilsner, but it's the same, virtually the same beer. Boodles Organic Lager, but it's the same thing. Five percent. So, um, shall we? Uh, shall I pour some beers first? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and do you want to read what's on the bottle? Actually, yeah. Okay. It's in English, even though it's imported from Holland, which is quite surprising, but it's helpful. It says, delightful beer with a clean, crisp taste and a distinctive aroma. Uh, the, uh, they, sorry, the use of only uh, organic ingredients and the brewery's own soft water creates a true organic lager. And that's from Gerard Arts, who's the brewer, apparently. There we go. Well, let's crack this open and see what it's all about. Uh, it's... It's um it is actually a still a family brewer apparently mm-hmm. they are not uh they are not become they're not being bought out and hoovered up by any macro no. brewer no so that's long quite way, interesting long may that last yeah so they're clearly doing quite well they've been at it for since eighteen eighty four um I think that's probably about you don't know I think you'd lot. probably give me a bit more than you but <laughs> right. I think that'll be about right, actually. Now mine's got a bit fizzy, but um, cool. that's all right. It's still lots of life to it. That's great. So should we talk about the, the design of the bottle first? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say it's grossly exciting. No. It looks like it could be a macro beer. It, it's a standard 330 mil, isn't yeah, it? It's a, um, yeah. It says beer brewed with soft water, pure and natural organic lager, four mm. generations of family brewing, mm. the bit you read out. Yeah. It does uh, have a macro look about it. It wouldn't look out of, out of sort of... Um, position in the supermarket would no. it really no. does sound the back brewed carbon neutral so they're clearly a, a well uh, a mm. responsible brewer which mm. is good mm-hmm. um so that's the bottle i mean it's it's all right it's fine it does yeah, its yeah. thing uh, the tasting notes say this is a clear golden beer with a short-lived white head and i can actually see with the, yeah. the, the white head was really big up to the top now it's 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 yeah. No, diving down a bit. It's non-existent now. So. The nose is light, pleasant and sweetish with a hint of lemons and a faint green grassiness. Mm. Soft on the palate with a light maltiness kept in balance with an equally featherweight hot fruitiness. A clean and refreshing beer. So this is a good one to start with because yeah. it will cleanse up everything. Indeed. Else. Nice. So should we look at it? So it is indeed golden yeah. and clear. Yeah, quite clear um, it is. And how does it smell? Oh. It certainly smells like a pill, set, set the, But it's, it's got... It doesn't smell like a like a boring lager. No, 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 no. It's got a lot more going on for it. Yeah, no. It's it's nice amount of maltiness in the mm. nose. Yeah, it's a big big malt here. That is that does smell really nice. Quite little. Let's try this. Yeah, it's should very have, very malty. Yes, the taste then. Indeed, yeah. Cheers, cheers, cheers James. Oh, that's quite pleasant. That's lovely. Mm. What a really nice refreshing taste. Mm. Really clean and crisp taste, isn't it? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, really nice multi sort of flavour on Ooh. the tongue. Yeah, that is that is a superior mm. pills. Mm. Really good quality. Um, it's got it's slightly sweetish, but not yeah. overly sweet. Yeah, yeah, definitely um, getting the sweetness. But yeah. I think that comes from the malt, and uh, it's yeah. only only a light, only a featherweight hot fruitiness. But it is, mm. yeah, very clean and fresh and very crisp. Yeah, nice and chilled as well, which definitely adds to the, the flavour. Mm. That warm wouldn't taste anywhere near as good. But no. Oh, no, nice and chilled, that's lovely. That is a lovely beer. Mm. That is really nice. We, uh, so me and Quinn reviewed a beer that was, mm. I would say, on a par with this, which was from Lithuania, called mm. Utenos. We mm. found it on the Oki Road uh, on one of the Eastern <laughs> European shops. <laughs> oh, it doesn't surprise And we weren't expecting that. That's actually yeah. one of our beers from later from one of those. But it, actually, it was amazing. Yeah. It was in a clear bottle. We were thinking, we were thinking oh, this can be terrible. Yeah. But it turns out, you're, you know how to brew lager. Yeah, oh, absolutely. But the Netherlands is not really known for great beer. It's getting better. It's getting better, but it's yeah. not, you know, it pales yeah. in comparison to its neighbours of Belgium and Germany. Oh, very much so. Um, yeah, but very this, much so. But this is, this stands up, you know. Yeah. For a beer, clearly, the, for a beer they've been mm. brewing for mm. 50 years or more, um, mm. it's really nice. Yeah, it's lovely. It's a really clean, crisp, very refreshing, very tasty lager. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to say. So this one has been... Um, 
yeah, brewed mm. for over 100 years. Uh, it's lagered for six to eight weeks at a temperature just above freezing, thus mm. making a smooth and clean beer. Yeah, it's very smooth, actually. Um, they used to. So they brew lots of other beers, uh, including several German styles, such as an Alt and a Kolsch. They, it says, it says mm. they, they also produce, but I think this is in the past, yeah. they said they produce an organic lager for British brewery Bath Ales, which is sold as natural blonde. I'm not aware that they actually do that anymore. No. Oh, interesting little story. It says the anchor in the logo... Uh, Harks back to the days when the brewery is called De Hoop, and De Hoop means the hope, okay. um, which is uh, doesn't say why it's called that. I'm guessing something to do with some sort of nautical. I mean, it's probably down by the coast, isn't it? Yeah, probably something to do yeah, with yeah, a, yeah. a. Oh, it comes from the home village Boodle, which is why it's called Boodles. Yeah. Uh, it can be found in the southern Dutch province of North Brabant. Mm. Uh, so that's that's what that's where it's actually wherever from. that may be. It might be a coastal town. Who knows? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I see. My um, knowledge of of Holland is is quite isn't great, really. <laughs> no. Well, uh, yeah. I'm just I know where Amsterdam or Rotterdam well, yes. is. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Well, I think we'll leave that one there. Mm. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in another beer review very very soon. Yes. Yeah, Goodbye. Good